Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Osterberg501, and today I want to go over the best upgrade module farm currently in Marvel's Avengers. And this farm allows you to get over 600 upgrade modules in an hour. Now, this is using the glitch that allows you to open up infinite amount of shield caches without using any DNA keys. I recently did a video on that, and before we go over that and go over the farm, a lot of people have been talking about on Reddit in the comment section of that video that you can lose your DNA keys from doing this if you die in the mission and I did end up dying while doing this while just farming for resources and I did lose like 20 DNA keys while actually doing that glitch but I went back and tested after I got some more DNA keys without doing the glitch I still lost DNA keys after I opened a box and then died with legitimately just opening the box using a key like normal and I did lose them after dying I'm not certain if this is for everybody that doing the glitch or not doing the glitch will you lose you the keys for me both ways so it seems to just be a bug currently in the game not certain if it's being on the highest difficulty not certain if it's specifically with this mission or not so that's something to be aware of that if you die which means getting downed three times you'll die in the third and the mission will reset back to the last checkpoint you'll lose all your keys it's not too bad because this glitch exists because you just need to go get one key then you can open up infinite dna boxes without having to worry about it the actual glitch to do this is you have to play an Iron Man. Once you get in your Hawkbuster, you can then open up the DNA caches without using DNA keys, and that's legitimately all you have to do for the glitch. Some tips for that is right when you get in your Hawkbuster, make sure you're directly in front of the DNA box because then you can just hold whatever button it is to open the boxes. So on PC, it's E. It'll actually cancel some of the animation to make it quicker. And then if you look at the actual tooltip for Hawkbuster, the ability itself, it'll have a keybind or a button button to quickly exit you out of the Hawkbuster, which will give you a lot of the cooldown back so you can have your Hawkbuster up for every DNA cache in the mission so you don't have to wait around for five minutes to try to get your cooldown back. And the mission we're going to be on is the Elite Snowy Tundra because the normal Snowy Tundra isn't there for me right now. I think because it's more of a weekly priority mission thing. Any of these Snowy Tundras are going to work because it's pretty much the same map. There's actually four shield caches on this map and if you watch a video you'll see the route I take. It's much easier for you guys to watch a video than have me explain it. But essentially you start the mission, you go straight. There's going to be a platform with a DNA box and another box on it. I recommend looting both because they both have a guaranteed gear piece. Also, I recommend doing this on the highest difficulty. That will give you more resources. Seems to be a higher chance to get higher quality loot. So more stars on it. It will just give you a lot more resources. If you're at decently high power level and at the highest difficulty, it will give you 15 upgrade modules per box. I think it's only based on difficulty and power level. 15 upgrade modules every DNA box is pretty insane. Do you go there? You're going to go to the right side of the map and you're just going to go through this little crevice in the mountain. You'll see it in the video. There's a DNA chest there. There's also a chest on a platform really close to that. I'd recommend getting those. Then you're going to go back the way you came from. You're going to go by the big satellite tower. There's a big rusted tower next to it. Go up in there. There's another chest and another DNA box. Then you're going to go to the full left side of the map from where you started and there's going to be one of the puzzle doors to do four puzzles to step on four platforms punch the four basically locks or shoot the four locks it's going to open up another room with a gold chest this time and another dna box since there's this bug with where if you die you lose all your dna keys i would recommend if you're not super tanky and you fear you might die don't go to the leftmost dna box and gold chest so that's the last one in my route just go to the first three because the first three you could pretty much skip everything and you just go straight to the chest you don't have to stop you don't have to open up those locks where you might have to fight some stuff if you're scared of dying and losing your keys don't go to the last one just go the first three then reset and that's all you have to do it's incredibly quick another tip if you overload yourself on iron man or using the booster skill where you can speed yourself up you can actually infinitely do that till your overload is actually done so that can help you speed up the farm a little bit. Now I can do these farms in a little under six minutes just for being even. I put the amount of resources I'm going to talk about to six minutes per run, which means you can essentially get 10 runs every hour. Now in those 10 runs on PC, this includes loading time. So consoles might be a little slower. I can get while doing this exact run around 2,100 units, which isn't too bad, but it's not the best unit farm. You get over 600 upgrade modules. If you're doing it exactly six minutes, it's 
630 upgrade modules, but over 600, I could do it a little bit faster, which is incredibly crazy. If you legitimately do this for like an hour and a half, I think it is, you're already capped on upgrade modules. It's 999, I'm pretty sure. This is for farming upgrade modules. There's nothing even close. Being able to cap how many you can actually carry in an hour and a half is nuts. For actual gear, for every chest I just mentioned, it guarantees at least one gear piece. I think getting more gear pieces is from the artifacts that can give you more gear from opening strong boxes. 80 gear pieces in an hour is crazy and doing it on the highest difficulty, I have noticed a pretty good chance to get the highest quality gear, so five stars, and with a lot of these being DNA boxes, half of them, a really good chance to get legendaries, so a really good chance to get five star legendaries, which is pretty much some of the best gear in the game right now. Then you'll get some extra resources, you'll get some comics and some intelligence from these, and also you can get rare and epic patterns. I have seen confirmations that people have gotten rare and epic patterns, which are skins. I haven't seen confirmation that you can get legendary patterns. I have heard people talk that they have gotten it, just like no screenshots or 100% confirmed information. So that's pretty much the entirety of the farm. And that's pretty much all I want to go over today. Subscri subscribe if you want to see more Marvel's Avengers videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about this farm. And thanks for watching. I don't have the exact location of the vault. Your signal detector should pick up a shield frequency when you get close to its location. Scout out the area ahead of you to locate it. Hard time! Oh. Proceed to the designated location. Look for a chest with gear nearby. Search through this area to find the location of the vault. Your signal detector should pick up its frequency when you get close to it. There is an elite aim unit near you. Defeat them and you may gain something useful. One of our shield allies nearby could use some help. Director Fury didn't mark this shield vault on any official map. There, up ahead. Director Fury didn't mark this shield vault on any official maps. The only way to find them is by using the signal detector.
There is a chest with gear close by. Now it's a party! Move in position! 